YouTube channel. I am so glad that you are here with us today. I am preparing for some friends to come over tonight. Um, after the kiddos go to bed, occasionally my hubby and I love to have some adult time with other adults while we know our kids are safe and sleeping sound and we get to just have some uninterrupted conversation and it is just so good for everyone. So we are looking forward to that tonight. Um, I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along as I prepare. I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning and I am going to um, show you guys how I like to prepare our charcuterie board and then we're going to make some brownies together. So I'm so glad you're here. Please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you love it. Let's get started. I'm not sure about you guys, but we love a good balance between savory and sweet for our charcuterie. So tonight we are going to have a few different cheeses, a summer sausage, some olives, some fruit, crackers, and pretzels. I also picked up this chocolate hummus from Trader Joe's. I'm not sure if you guys have tried it. Definitely let me know in the comments below. We were pleasantly surprised the first time that we tried it. It was a hit for all five of us. It tastes just like brownie batter and is so good with the little pretzel crisps or with strawberries. Um, yeah, I'm anxious to hear what you guys think about it because I was definitely hesitant at first. So now I am just gonna go ahead and wash all of the fruit and start slicing the cheese in the sausage and just get everything um, prepared on my board. So I chose to go with the unexpected cheddar cheese and then Monterey Jack cheese from Trader Joe's as well as this delicious summer sausage. It's a turkey sausage, which is so nice, unlike a salami or a pepperoni that's going to leave you feeling just like greasy and blah afterwards. This one is so, so, so good. I was regretting only buying one roll. Okay, friends, so that is a wrap for our charcuterie board. I love how it turned out and it's definitely making me hungry. I totally want to dig in, but I am going to have to hold off for a couple more hours until our friends get here and we can enjoy it together. Um, one thing that I did not do this time around is oftentimes I will put in some, uh, a little bit of chocolate, maybe some chocolate covered espresso beans or some little peanut butter cups or something just to add that sweet touch, but I opted to use fruit instead today just because um, I know that we are going to be making brownies and um, we definitely don't need that many sweets. So um, I'm just so happy with this. I will definitely link everything in the description below, including this gorgeous cutting board from our shop, House and Home. And yeah, I hope that you guys um, we'll comment below with some of your favorite must-haves uh, on a charcuterie board so that we can get adventurous and try some new things next time. Okay, let's make some brownies. These brownies are so good, you guys. Please do not be scared off by the word gluten-free. They taste like normal brownies. My husband can attest to that. He is always very picky about um, making substitutions and this is one you are not going to notice. This is the King Arthur brand that I got at Target. We are going to also be using these chocolate chunks from Trader Joe's and I'm going to make these dairy-free as well because I am lactose intolerant. So um, we're going to use vegetable oil instead of butter. But I am telling you guys, these brownies are probably the best brownies that we have ever had. They are truly so chewy, so fudgy, and so delicious. We have had this brownie pan for almost nine years. We got it for our wedding, so it is looking a little old, but I promise you that it is perfectly clean. Sometimes 
sometimes you just gotta go with the box and today that is what we're doing. So it says we're gonna need a half a cup of melted butter or oil and I am gonna go the oil route um, like I said, because I cannot have any dairy and I do plan on partaking in having some brownies tonight. So, um, we are going to whisk together the oil, water, and the eggs. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do a half a cup. I have vegetable oil. Um, I've also used coconut oil before and that worked out just fine. But this is what I have today, so this is what we're gonna use. All right. Now I'm gonna get two tablespoons of water. I'm actually gonna bring my bowl over so I don't make a huge mess. which I forgot to grab out. So let me get those really quick. All right. Now, my daughter is allergic to eggs. She's not gonna be having any of these brownies tonight, but I will say that we have changed out, we've done like the flax egg substitution in so many things and it turns out so well. We have done pancakes, we've done muffins, we've done cookies, we've done breads, we've done brownies, um, but this particular package is actually one of the only ones I have ever seen that says that egg substitutes are not recommended and I think that's because it's with a gluten-free flour. Okay, so I have my eggs, I have my oil, and I have my water, and my whisk. So I am going to go ahead and just give those a good mixing. And next, we are going to just add in the mix. And then we're going to add in some chocolate chunks as well. All right. And I'm going to preheat my oven to... 350. All right. This smells so good, you guys. <laughs> I am truly torturing myself today with all the charcuterie and now brownies, and I've gotta wait a few hours before I can enjoy them. Also, I am gonna apologize for my dog barking in the background. Not that I need to apologize, but if you hear him, he's fine. He is just upstairs playing with the boys and they have toys up there, um, and they like to, he, he likes, the, our dog likes to play with them. All right. Oh, this looks so delish. Okay. I am going to actually get a spoon. I've got that all mixed in. Now we are going to do our chocolate chunks. It says a cup. Okay, I'm going to bring you guys over and tease you, I guess, and show you how yummy this looks. I got chocolate on the bowl. <laughs> okay. So stinking delicious. Now, I have to ask, 
Are you guys team brownie batter or team cookie batter? My husband and I like to go back and forth on this. He is team brownie batter. I am team both. I love any batter, any dough. Like, I just cannot get enough. And I know there's egg in there. But sometimes you just got to live on the edge, I guess. Okay, so I am going to let you guys in on a little trick. Maybe you've done this. Maybe you've seen it done before. But I like to line my brownie container with some aluminum foil. If I can get it out of here. Um, because... I find that brownies are so tricky to get out of a pan and they usually just crumble everywhere. It's hard to get that first brownie out. So when you use aluminum foil, you are able to literally just pull it out and then it lays flat. They cut so nicely. So that is what we are going to do. Kind of have to push all of the corners in and then I do like to spray it a little bit as well um, just to make sure that it doesn't stick and it all comes up so nicely okay so let me get my spray real quick We like to use this coconut oil spray from Trader Joe's. If you can't tell, we like to shop there a lot. Apparently, that is hard to get off. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna lightly spray this. And then we are going to dump everything in. It looks so good. This is going to be a little challenging for me without my hubby because this bowl is so heavy and I had shoulder surgery um, back in September and I'm still a little bit weak on the left side so I may get this in here partially and have to take a tiny break. Look at that batter. So good you guys. I'm going to grab my spatula and finish this off. Okay, so the brownies are ready to go. You can see all of those delicious chocolate chunks. I'm gonna go ahead and pop them in our preheated oven and we are gonna do a little bit of cleaning while we wait. So I am using my absolute favorite soap dispensers. They are amber glass bottles and I love them for so many reasons. One, they are so cute and they look amazing in any kitchen. Instead of having an assortment of different hand soap and uh, dish soap, I just have like two bottles that are just beautiful and look pretty on my countertop. And in addition to that, I love that I can just do a single pump instead of using a disposable dish bottle that I'm squeezing soap into the sink and always getting way too much. I feel like this helps me get a measured amount of soap each time so that I'm not being wasteful. I will definitely link these bottles in the description below for you guys. These magic eraser sheets have been a lifesaver for me. I love to use them to clean the kitchen sink and the stove and the bathtub and the shower. They are seriously magic. We are big fans of Thieves Cleaner over here. We have been using Young Living products for years and years, and the Thieves Cleaner is by far our all-time favorite. It lasts forever. One bottle of Thieves Cleaner seriously lasts us almost half a year because you just need one tiny capful of the cleaner to an entire spray bottle of water and I use it on every single surface of our home. Okay guys, the brownies are out of the oven. I'm gonna let them cool for about 10 minutes before I cut them and put them on a plate, but they smell so good. 
check these out. They are seriously the most ooey gooey delicious brownies you will ever eat. Do yourself a favor and go get yourself a box. They will be a hit for sure. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you loved it and hit that subscribe button for more weekly videos from our channel.